What's going on, everybody? It's Navelle J. Lee with a new Buzzcast here at Buzzworthy Radio. And I'm so excited that we're kicking off season 18 of the show with Gabrielle Walsh, who plays the role of Lacey on NBC's Found. As we saw in the season finale, Lacey found out that Gabby, who was played by Shanola Hampton, had Sir, played by Mark Paul Gossler, who many people know for Zach Morris from Saved by the Bell, captive. She held Sir captive all this time, unbeknownst to anybody. The backstory is for anybody who hasn't seen Found, Gabby and Lacey were both held by Sir as little girls. And Gabby held Sir on her own without any anybody else knowing. So now that it's come out that Gabby has held Sir hostage, it creates a, a big rift between Lacey and Gabby because of it. But then also, as we now seen in the trailer that has just dropped, Sir has captured Lacey yet again. So there's a lot of questions that we had with Gabrielle in the show, especially when it came to Sir escaping Gabby's clutches. We get into that and we get into also Gabby's feelings of betrayal and what is going on in her moments now being captured again as an adult by Sir. All that and more with Gabrielle Walsh. Check it out. Gabrielle Walsh is joining us right now on The Buzz, and this is exciting. Next week, Found is back, and it's already it's already kicking off. The trailer was just released a few days ago, and there's so much to talk about just from that trailer, number one. Oh, my gosh. I mean, first of all, how are you? Let's start with pleasantries. <laughs> You're like, so many things to say. There's <laughs> so many things to say, but let's get the easy one out first. How are you? I'm I'm great. I'm really excited, anticipated. I can't even just you saying it right now. I'm like, oh my god, it is like a week away. It is a week away. I can't believe that. I mean, we've been working tirelessly since the beginning of the year, and now it's like, all right, season two is out, and everyone is going to be able to experience what we've been experiencing on set and what the NK and Sone and all the writers have been creating. So I'm like, I'm stoked. And I'm it's high. It's funny you mentioned that, too, because of how quickly it's creeping up with the premiere. It's been off a long time, and I believe that was due to the strikes, too. So we really didn't get that fully invested in when it first premiered. And it seems like we had to wait maybe like 10 months or so before now it finally came back. So, and now that it's here, it's really building up that anticipation for it. So, one, I'm happy that it survived that so that we could come back for season two. But it's... It's exciting to see where it's left off and now where we're about to start, because if we're not mistaken, which we can reveal since it was revealed in the trailer, your character, Lacey, is now kidnapped again by Sir, who is played by Mark Paul Gossler on the series. Yet again. Yet, Yet again, again. I am taken. And I, I love that you say that. They kind of want to, like, they kind of, like, have been, well, with the strike, torturing the audience along with, like, Sir, <laughs> like torturing the audience. Um, yeah, it's uh, the it's pretty intense. The beginning, I didn't know that they were going to do that initially, and then when NK had sat me down because we like went through sort of what this season is going to look like, which I appreciated so much. But she's like, "Yeah, girl, you're taken," and I'm like, "No!" I was like, "It can't be. He's just going to be in the closet, and all of a sudden we're going to be back to normal." And we're like, "Where the hell is this guy?" But it's like, "No, girl, you're taken. We're kicking it off." Uh, with you being kidnapped again by your like real life monster. So yeah, we're going to get to see what that's like for Lacey. It's, it's, it's so interesting bringing, you know, as you're talking about it and I'm thinking about it, it's just like, there was just this whole cat and mouse game from the last season when he was quote unquote captured. And I say that in air quotes for all of you, because as you know, he escaped. So really, was he, did he know he could get out? Me, I'm going like, did he know he could get out all along? And he was just playing cat and mouse the other way with her and thinking she had the upper hand. Shanola Hampton's character, by the way, is who I'm referring to, everybody, is she? <laughs> just FYI. Um, did, she have the up, did she think she had the upper hand all along when in reality, she really was just a pawn in his game in the beginning? I think that's just so interesting how this is being played out and you your character of Lacey being used as that catalyst between not just those two 
but also because of that revisitist history, that's going to be very interesting to start off that season with for sure. Yes, absolutely. I mean, you know, that's a, that's a great question. And I love that. It's like inspiring those questions. Cause it's like, hold on, how did he get out? Like what was going on? Could he always get out? How sick and twisted is mm -hmm. this line mm -hmm. that he would endure things that he hated, like not being groomed, um, yeah. you know, like being controlled in many ways, uh, controlled in many ways just to be closer to Gabby. To Gabby. Like yeah. How strong is this bond and obsession that he has with her that he would put himself through that to the nth possible point where he feels like he has lost her and he needs to do something drastic or more to pull her back in. What can we say about Lacey in her need to survive, Sir, yet again in an adult stage? Because as we know, as we mentioned, Sir had both Gabby and Lacey when they were younger girls. And we get to some sometimes see some of that in, in little flashback scenes. But now as an adult, how 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 is she gonna be able to get out of this? Like what is going in your perspective and what you what you can say? what's going through her mind on how she needs to survive this how how is she feeling right now in that present moment that she needs to not only survive this but i'm also asking too does she feel a sense of betrayal from her sister because gabby knew about him here for this amount of time and now i'm going like does she find that out in his captivity does she now feel this sense of betrayal to to gabby now at this point it's now going what sense of emotions does she have terror <laughs> obvious number one <laughs> <laughs> terror is definitely number one i think there's a i mean there's so much to unpack um because right before this there was that immense sense of betrayal that you got to see at the end it was just like who is this person do i know uh, this person meaning Gabby, like, who is this person? Who is this person that I has been my sister that I have been idolizing, like, and grappling with that, but don't even have the time to grapple with that because then you are taken again by the person who held you captive before. Um, and I think that um, the difference between then and now is Lacey's not a little girl anymore. Lacey's not seven years old. Yeah. Um, Gabby had to protect her. And uh, we know that um, Sir blames Lacey for yes. breaking yeah. Gabby up. So you're going to get to experience that intense, excuse me, that intense loathing that he has for. Lacey and I think that's going to dictate a lot of what Lacey's experience is going to be used as this pawn in his game and um I but I will say this like I don't think that Lacey has been just sitting around twiddling her thumbs waiting for you know because she knows that they don't know where sir is mm -hmm. and had to live with that terror since having escaped so him being out there and you got to see a little bit of a, a piece of what that terror horror was you know when they had to go back to the farmhouse or that that trauma is still affecting her so I don't think that she has been just sitting in wait like she has she has been doing things to prepare herself in, in some way, but there's nothing like the actual experience when you come face to face with that monster. With that monster. And I and and I know we're wrapping up on time here, but I do want to get this comment in to that point. You know, I feel like Lacey has developed some sort of resiliency somehow. As you said, she's not she wasn't just twiddling her thumbs. I feel like just from not just from what happened previously but up until this point I, I feel like she has probably done something some stuff we may know about we have seen some stuff we may not have known about on how to build up against and fight 
this monster that has her in captivity. So I'm I'm excited to see this come out. I'm excited to watch this because it's been a long time coming and I'm very, very excited for all of you and for everybody to see the show. I can't believe that 10 minutes has already came, came and gone, but <laughs> I would love to get back and have a longer conversation with you about the show and, and where Lacey is at down the road. Uh, but please everybody tune into the season premiere of found, which is next Thursday, October 3rd at 10, nine central on NBC and then streaming on Peacock. Gabrielle Walsh. This was amazing. Thank you so much for stopping by and chatting with me this one, this afternoon. It was awesome. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. It was wonderful for me as well. Many thanks to Gabrielle Walsh for stopping by the Buzzcast to talk about Found. Once again, the new season premieres this Thursday, October 3rd at 10, 9 central on NBC and streaming on Peacock. Hopefully you guys get to check it out. But that's going to do it for me for right now. I'm Navelle J. Lee, making sure you keep getting the latest buzz with Buzzworthy Radio by logging on to our website at buzzworthyradiocast.com. You can also find us on X, formerly known as Twitter, at Buzzworthy Radio and liking us on on our Facebook page. I'm also on Instagram at BuzzNav, and I got an announcement for you. Very, very new to us. So pretend you're hearing a drum roll right now. But as of today, for those of you who wants to download and stream our podcast, we have an addition to the family. That's right. Not only am I on iHeartRadio and Amazon Music, I am now officially on Spotify. That's right. I am officially now on Spotify, so you can look up the Buzz Buzzworthy Radio on Spotify right now, and you can download our podcast from there as well. So make sure you guys check us out. I'm very excited. Thank you guys so much once again, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care.